So we're going to look at how we work the SB8 for the muscle pain setting. So first of all, how do we turn it on? There's an on off switch on the side. So if we hold that down, you'll see the light comes on and SB8 appears. Now, if we look closely, you have that star. Now those programs are all your most favorite used programs. If you want to go, you can use those. If you go use the across button here, so on the right hand side, you push across and then to scroll up and down, you use the bottom button there. So that's a quick, and if you want to select muscle pain, you push the middle button. Then it goes straight into the default muscle pain program. But I'm going to just show you how to get there through the folder as well. So if I go back again, you pull the, push the left hand side of the ring, um, then we go back to that. And if I push left again, then I'm working this side here. And you see the middle one is a folder. We're going to go down to the folder and then has all the folders of the different programs. So now I'll push to the right because I want to go down to the pain management folder to select, push the middle button. Now, the program we want to choose today is muscle pain. So again, I push the bottom of the ring to get to muscle pain, middle button to select. Now, you'll see the pictures on the right hand side. It, those are there if you didn't know where to put it for that program but actually the program is the same. So if you didn't know, you could push on the down button and scroll through where to look to put the various placements for muscle pain. But if you don't have to choose the right placements, it's just there for your information. Um, so then we select muscle pain. Now it's gonna ask me to turn the electrode on. So I'll now turn on the electrode and you will see then it will register it. If I'm using more than one, I'll obviously turn on the other one. Then I push the middle button again, and now it's ready to go. It's telling me it's not a connected to the electrode, so I'll now go and show you how we put it on the leg and how we use that placement. So we're going to set up the placement for on the knee with the Complex SB8. So as you can see, um, we place either a double or two singles higher up on the thigh. It can be two singles as well. That's just to close the circuit. So somewhere on the top of the quad or higher up on the quad. Then we place a single electrode. If we get Sophie to stretch on the leg, you can see on the inside, just above the kneecap, we put one on the VMO over there. And then if we draw a line from the kneecap to the top of the thigh, somewhere just slightly up in the middle. We then need to grab the electrodes. So because there are four um, buttons, we need two electrodes. So we take the electrode. If we look underneath, you'll see they can slide on. So if we just slide them on, you want them top to bottom. So it slides on and it clips in the same way this slides on. Perfect. And then we do the other one. As you can see, we've got one low down and one high because the current will pass from one to the other and then we're going to do the same on the other side so slide it onto the clip make sure it clicks in good so we now will take um we're ready to get the machine on so we're going to do muscle pain so again we turn the machine on on this side okay let it power up we then end up having the favorites which we can then push to the right we're going to do muscle pain, which is the first one. So we select pushing the middle button. The pictures on the side, you don't have to worry if um, they're all the same program. Now, as you can see, it's asking me it can't find the electrodes. So now we need to turn the electrodes on. How we do that is we look for the button and we push the, each of the, there should be one on each set of electrodes on each pad. Okay. And then, as you can see here, it's picked up both of those. So now we push the middle button to proceed. So this is on muscle pain. So on these machines, it should turn up automatically. So we'll push the up button to get it going. And it automatically will search for the optimal. It's going up. And what we're looking for on the leg is a twitch. So we. If it becomes too uncomfortable, you can push the middle button to stop it or push the down button to stop it going up. But there we go, we're starting to get a good twitch. The machine should turn off when it's happy with the twitch, but if it becomes too uncomfortable, turn it down as long as you're getting a twitch. Let's just see if it does optimal. And we're getting a really nice twitch. Oh, yeah.
So it will tell us, it, sometimes it says optimal not found. That's not a problem as long as we can see that nice twitching of the muscle. There must be a visible muscle twitching. Um, and these programs you want to do for a minimum of 10 minutes, but if you can last the 20 minutes, and usually with this program, we're advising five to six times a day. There you go, it's telling us optimal level found. And then we would just carry on for at least 10 minutes, if not the whole program. You can walk around and do things with this on, that's not a problem. Um, and then if at any stage you need to stop it, you just push the middle button. You can turn it straight off over there or if you by pushing the on off button, or you can come back by pushing the left side of the ring, you can go um, back to the main menu.